This is the sixth and final video of online auction number 223, which is the Lincoln Land Convention auction, Saturday, August 14th at 9.30. This is an online only auction. We'll bring the glass there again, and it'll be out there for you, but you will bid on the computer. We can also do that for you, so you don't need a computer to do this. Um, this is the Kale Wilcox collection. As uh, you've seen in the previous videos, some of the finest iridized glass we've sold in a long time. Pony Bowl, 10 Ruffle, look at it, wonderful piece. Ice Green, rare color. Grape and Cable, 10 inch, basketball back in blue. Blue iridescence, a beauty. Here's a Three Fruits Bowl in pie crust edge, green. Basket weed back, beautiful. Beautiful piece here, the folding fan compote in purple. A nip on. Nine inch plate, hard to find the plates. Basket weed back, green, very pretty iridescence. Peacock at the Fountain Compote in blue. Also, oh, excuse me, it's in purple. Well, that tells you the kind of quality it is. It has blue, blue type iridescence, it's a beauty. Rose Show variant, ruffled bowl, marigold. Another beauty here. Boy, he's got some great Rocho variants. First video shows you some great plates. Raindrops bowl, dome-footed purple. Real nice one. This is a very pretty pie crust edge bowl. Hearts and flowers. A lot of these have very little iridescence. This one is really pretty. It is an ice blue. Here's a line lattice vase in purple, and it's beautiful. Now this one does have a tiny nick down here on uh, on a toe, and I'm having a hard time finding it, but it's there. There it is right there. So you can see it, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Strip, stippled grape and cable variant, ruffled bowl and sapphire. Look how pretty that is, wow. Now, this is a leaf chain bowl. Ice cream shape in blue. Look at the blue iridescence. This thing's dynamite. Here's a rare bowl. Roslyn, this is a 10-inch size ice cream shape. Look at that satin. Rare piece of glass, actually. Very, very hard to find. Here's a ripple base. Uh, I believe the base is like four and... I'm not for sure. Make sure you check the listing. Um, there's a couple of these here. These were, there was one excess glass stuck here. And off of that, there's a couple little spots. But, you know, it was definitely made that way. But we want you to know they're there. Here's a strawberry bowl. It's just beautiful. Really, really pretty. Plain back. Just gorgeous. Heart and Vine Plate in blue. Another beauty here. Just really, really pretty. Here's a stippled Peacock's bowl. Rib back. Purple. Hard color to find, actually, it, it, for these. Stippled. Purple stippled is really tough. <clears throat> this is a little uh, open rose, little sauce in blue. Hope you can see that color. Really, really neat. Very pretty iridescence, too. Amazing piece. Imperial Grape Carafe. This thing's just stunning. Just stunning. Okay. Here's the stretch glass. Uh, I believe, uh, ruffles and rings? Is that? No. no. Uh, well, you guys all know the pattern. Check the listing. <laughs> I, I always forget this one. I have a mind block on this, but it is in the tangerine color. It is a rare vase, um, folks. And I want you to show you a spot here. This here is obviously made that way, okay? No question about it. In that, there's a little heat check. I want you to know it's there. 
right on the mold. It's right on the mold line. It's like there's a little sand grid in there, and off of that, it, it, it popped it a little bit. I mean, it, and it's just very minute. I want you to know it's there, but um, you'd have to consider it perfect yet, in my opinion. But uh, what a rare, rare piece in tangerine. Wow, this is pretty. Star of David, ruffled bowl in purple. Just a beauty. All right, here's a line lattice jack in the pulpit in in white. Very nice, pretty iridescence. And there is a nick on the base here, folks. It's very small, and I hope I can find it. It's right there. So I hope you can see that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So double Dutch bowl, footed, three feet on the bottom, round. Called Double Dutch because there's two windmill. Round bowl, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Good luck, stipple, good luck plate. Rib back, marigold. Kale's classic yellow iridescence. Kind of a pastel color. Ah, here's a Millersburg peacock sauce in amethyst. Lotus and grape bowl, Persian blue. Uh, what's really interesting with this bowl here is 99.9% .9 of them have spotty iridescence and this one does not, it's, it's really good. So look at how bright that is. Look at that classic kale yellow, stippled three fruits or stippled strawberry plate. This has the basket weave back, wow. Look at this here, Amarillo's tri-corner little compote, purple, very, very pretty. My wife loves, Jan loves this vase. This thing is really, really pretty. Beaded bullseye. She thinks it's just gorgeous. Good luck, pie Chris Edge bowl, rib back, blue, electric. It's a great one. I think this is grape wreath variant. Crimped edge, ruffled sauce. Amethyst, radium, and super. Rare piece. Heavy web bowl, peach opal. These are about 11 inches. Really good bowl here, folks. Hard to find. Really hard to find. Pastel aqua opal hearts and flowers compote. Pastel aqua opal. Here's a rare little plate, very desirable. It's a blackberry wreath, six inch plate. I've always been a fan of these myself, love them. Millersburg. Yep, this is Millersburg. It's nice and flat, okay. Fenton, nine inch plate in blue. Fenton Peacock at Urn. Raspberry milk pitcher. This one is lime green and it is super. This is a really rare little little uh, milk pitcher. Uh, just fabulous. Can't find an argument of, of any kind of reason not to buy this thing. It's wonderful. The ice blue one, and it's just as good. And this marigold one, on a scale of one to 10, you'd have to call it a 10. It's just dynamite. You never see them look like this. Just dynamite. Here we've got... Look at the color on yeah. top. I mean, it's it's just crazy. Uh, we've got eight Acorn Burst Punch Cups. I believe one of them is damaged. Uh, one of them is significantly damaged, so there's seven good ones. Um, had some extra punch cups, so we thought we'd sell them as a group. Getting down to the end here, folks. Uh, this here is the, the large uh, funeral vase. This is a funeral size base in Ripple. Fortunately, there is a large chip on it. Kale bought it because it was beautiful. There's a chip right there, and I think there's one more in a rib down here at the bottom right here. But uh, first off, you don't find the squatty ones, and then you don't find that kind of beauty very often. Here's a uh, pulled loop vase here in purple. This also has a pretty good sized chip right there. 
Don't you know it's there? Here's a stretch glass candy jar with a grape engraving. Can you see that, Jan? Mm -hmm. Okay, grape engraving, gold decoration, just a wonderful little stretch piece. And you got a matching Celeste blue one here with the engraved grapes. It's really nice. Here's a poppy show vase, Vaseline opal. Of course, it is contemporary, but they are beautiful, highly collectible. And this is the blue opal one. Uh, I think they called them aqua opal when they made them. This, I think, is the one they gave away at Lincoln Land if, if, yes. one year. I think Dick Becker had these made, I believe. Yep. Yep. So, um, great little vase. That's it for this auction. I'd like to thank Kayla Wilcox for letting us sell this sale. Wonderful sale. I'd like to thank the group at Lincoln Land. Uh, August 14th, 9.30 is the auction. We'll have it set up on Friday for you, Friday late afternoon. It's at the Embassy Suites in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Thank you.